let me consider the set of all planets mercury venus and so on i write all of them and then let me consider the set of all prime ministers of india you see this is the list let me consider the set of all single digit numbers which is 0 1 2 3 up to 7 8 9 10 of them right let me consider all double digit numbers 0 1 2 3 up to 7 8 9 10 of them right let me consider all single digit numbers which is 0 1 2 3 up to 7 8 9 10 of them right let me consider all days of the week which happens to be monday tuesday wednesday so on up to saturday sunday let me consider the months of the year jan feb march april so on up to december do you see what is in common in whatever i wrote so far they all are called sets in the language of mathematics you see certain things in math is best left undefined set is one such thing but for completeness sake we may have to define what is a set and let me do it in about a sentence here a set as you can see above is a collection you collect a few object few objects collection of a few objects that is what you mean by a set in fact there are a whole lot of paradoxes involving sets so if you start defining exactly what is a set you run into problems but throughout our course by a set we mean a list of things a list of things and this list as you saw above were all finitely many but a set can indeed contain infinitely many entities for example set of all numbers mm -hmm. starting from 1 2 3 so on up to infinity set of all even mm -hmm. numbers right set of all prime mm -hmm. numbers right and so on so you just now saw that a set can be finite or also infinite before going any further let us look at some handy notations let me consider a set let's say s with elements a b c d please note a set can have anything as its elements and mostly we use capital letters to denote the set and generally we use small letters to denote the elements of the sets of the set there are no there is no hard and fast rule but this is mostly the convention all right so now as you can see a is an element of s or we can say a belongs to s this is a notation we use in math for this we say a belongs to s and this is the notation you should get used to and as you know the letter z is not here in the set so we say z does not belong to the set let us consider a set of all numbers let's say set a comprises of 1 2 3 4 4 up to 100 there are many ways in which you can write a set this is this is a standard notation that i'm going to tell you right now where i can also write this set which i wrote just now as x such that please note it will be very clear to you as you see more examples such that x is between 1 to 100 and x is an integer right so this is same as this but it becomes very handy for you to write something like this for example a set s comprising of all those real numbers between let's say 0 and 1 now it is not just difficult but impossible to enumerate it like this there are times when you may want to enumerate it with a definition like this right so a set can be written this way also don't worry much with a lot of examples things will become very clear to you 